Hey, hey, Pisces, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October 2022 love reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Pisces and take a look at all things related to love. Whether you are currently single, perhaps you're partnered up, maybe you're going through a challenging time with a family member or a friend or a loved one that's pulling on your heartstrings. We'll dive into it all. So just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, you have some very powerful energy showing up here for you, Pisces, right away the padlock is showing up. There may have been a situation in the past that presented itself not available to you. This could be your heart. You may have shut someone out. There could have been a rejection, a ghosting, an abandonment here. Now, it could have been in a relationship you're in where you felt like you needed to shut down either emotionally or physically to a person here, where I feel like a lot of you may have thrown the key away. You may have said, this isn't for me. I'm throwing the key away or it's almost as if you've wanted to work on how to unlock a new beginning. And if that is what you've been asking yourself, how do I have this new beginning after a time of being closed off or a time of maybe a lot of turmoil or loss? you are manifesting a fresh start. There's a new start coming in here for you. I feel like this new fresh start is something that potentially may have the going power to last the distance here, uh, or the power to really, really go long-term into 10 of Pentacles, 10 of Cups type of energy. Now, you may already be in a relationship where you know that someone is the one, but I feel like something needs to give or something needs to change. Uh, for those of you that are single, you may have felt like there weren't options out there, uh, that there was a shutdown of the heart here when it comes to love. Now, love isn't just romantic or intimate. For some of you, there could have been a falling out with a family member, uh, a, a sibling, a mother, a father. Uh, there could have been a close connection here or some sort of loss that had incurred in the past. But I feel like you have a fresh start here to open your heart up fully and keep it open because your final card is the knotted rope. This is about lasting commitments. This is about long-term growth, longevity, being able to withstand the test of time for better or for worse type of energy. Now, if this is a family member, I feel like you may be mending, you may be coming back together after uh, a time of disconnect. Now, it could be that you haven't seen maybe a cousin for many, many years or a family member. Uh, some of you may have been working on your ancestors, or your, your family tree, uh, or some sort of DNA. And if you were adopted or if you uh, are finding out new people, that you're related to. I feel like there's an energy of figuring things out, meeting new people and coming together after a time of really not knowing that there was something else out there because it wasn't available at that time. So let's dive into your energy here, Pisces, and take a look at what the heart of the matter is regarding love. Now again, love can be intimacy, it can be romantic, it can be family love, it can be love for your children, your parents. Let's take a look and uh, see. Okay, we have the Hierophant, which is showing up here for you. So I'm actually, they're telling me that that's the foundation. So it's all about commitments for you, high level commitments, which you have showing up. But let's look at the main energy and what's crossing you. We have the Muse of Inspiration. This is the King of Wands. So this is an energy of you taking charge of your destiny. This is about you having that upper hand or the power to create, to manifest, to bring about change when it comes to matters of the heart. I've been finding here, Pisces, on a collective level, a lot of people are taking a step forward when it comes to love. If there was a falling out and you want to mend things, now if you don't want to mend things, then that's a completely different story but if there was a falling out and you want to mend things or maybe you just want closure I feel like you're taking the step whether that is picking up the phone making the first call uh, whether that is sending a text message whether it's an apology or whether you are asking someone out on a date that 
you know, that you work with. You're making that next move. And that's what this King of Wands does. He doesn't wait for anyone to do it for him. The King of Wands takes charge of his own destiny. He's very passionate about the people that he surrounds his energy with. And he makes sure that he surrounds himself with people who love him, people who want to see him uh, succeed. He doesn't need those people, but he automatically attracts those people because of the energy that he puts out. And that's what I feel like you're doing this month here, Pisces. You're very adventurous. Uh, you are very successful and you're an influencer as well. And I feel that other people are magnetized towards your positivity and towards your light and towards your uh, adventurous side. You may be even thinking about traveling in the month of October, or you may be planning uh, some sort of travel or meeting up with people from around the globe. There could be community, there could be networks. I mean, the heart shows up in many different ways. If some of you are maybe in a long distance relationship or you live physically apart from a loved one or a family member or a spouse, there could be a connection coming in this month for you. Now let's take a look and see what's challenging or what's crossing your energy. We have the King of Pentacles. So double king energy. Now, some of you may certainly have two kings in your life. Now, it could be a brother and a spouse. It could be a brother and a husband. It doesn't have to just be male energy. It's just masculine energy here. Uh, I know a lot of feminine, a lot of females who are more masculine, uh, myself included. But I feel like you can certainly be... Uh, having a challenge when it comes to bringing about stability when it comes to your love life. Because the king of materials here, the muse of materials is that king of pentacles. And he is all about building his empire. So some of you may need to focus more on a family dynamic or more of a community type of network versus uh, maybe career. Uh, perhaps someone could be really focused intently on their career and they be, miss, be missing out on opportunities for growth, for love, for community, for uh, networking, or attracting soulmate energy in. So I say find a fine balance here. They're giving me the two of pentacles. So try to find a little time in your schedule for work and play because you can have both here. You can still be very successful building your stability, uh, but it may be challenging for you to do so because of your heart being shut down in the past or an opportunity being closed to you. But always remember Pisces, rejection is God's protection. And I feel that whatever was rejected from you in the past, it was actually to bring in something better. And that's what's showing up here for you in the month of October is something better. Let's clarify this King of Wands energy for you, Pisces. What's this King of Wands uh, and King of Pentacles? We'll clarify both here. Six of Cups, that's that equal uh, energy here, but it's also, sixes are about harmony. They're about problem solving. It is about figuring out how to be loyal to the people that you love, but also to take responsibility in your everyday life. It's also about a gift from the universe. So I feel that this gift from the universe is about a fresh start between either you and another person. It could be you and a brand new energy, but for some of you, this is already a lot long-term commitment, or it could be, uh, again, a son, a father. Uh, these kings typically are more mature. They are uh, a little bit older. They've been through life. They've been through the emotional heartbreak, the turmoil. And I feel like you will find that balance this month, but make sure that you are scheduling time with the people that love you most and saying yes, if you're looking for new opportunities to open that heart because you do have some beautiful gifts coming in here for you, Virgo. Now what's below you is this commitment energy, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is all about being divinely guided. This is about you a learning and teaching, but it can be about high level commitment, such as marriage, such as you being committed to maybe your children or caretaking. Some of you, it's your career. There is a commitment energy, and I feel when you commit to something or someone, Pisces, you do it all the way. You, you go big or you go home, basically. And I feel like you have learned a lot along the way, but you're now going in a direction where you're feeling divinely inspired 
you're with that king of wands so you may be doing something differently than you've done in the past perhaps you've been really focused on the material uh, or what it is that you could bring about in your uh, physical world now you're saying to yourself is that as important uh, or can I bring about balance can I bring about feeling inspired can I bring that wands energy in that creativity that passion that spiritual force to all my relationships as well see them from a new perspective see them as my soul's growth because relationships are like mirrors and I feel that uh, you may be committing yourself to the things that are very very important to you and it may have you I don't want to say second guessing but it may have you re-evaluating your priorities what is important to you now may not have been what was important to you five years ago and that's okay because we are here to embrace change now let's take a look and see what's happened here for you Pisces in the past What's happened in the past? Planning. Uh, planning. The Two of Wands energy. I feel like plans may not have turned out the way that you thought or you may have been indecisive or there wasn't as many opportunities, okay? Because this Two of Wands energy can feel stuck. It can feel like there's a padlock on your heart. If you're single, maybe uh, nobody is catching your interest and you're focusing on your finances or your career. Or that may have been a factor in your love life. Maybe you didn't have the means to be able to go out and meet people. Or due to the pandemic, you felt closed down here or something wasn't available to you. I feel like now you're in a new energy of new opportunities coming in, a new fresh start. And that's something that you've been wanting and craving. Now, Pisces, let's take a look and see what's coming in for you. What is above Pisces here? Uh, we do have an ending coming in. Endings bringing in new beginnings, which we already knew about, okay? There's some sort of ending with the Ten of Swords that is saying here, it's time to take out the garbage, take out the trash. This could be in the mind. It could be mental clutter uh, where you're letting go of an old belief. Maybe you've told yourself that you the only way that you'd be able to manifest uh, the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles energy is for you to do this or you to do A, B, and C when really it was, uh, you know, X, Y, Z that that will take you to that direction you want to go. So I feel like you've needed to let go of something, whether it be a belief, whether it's a person, whether it's a habit, whether it's a pattern, whatever it is for you, it may have been difficult for you to go through, but it's allowing you this fresh start in this fresh new dynamic. Again, I feel like there could have been um, a painful ending or something that had presented itself to you as a rejection or as a loss, or it may have shut down your heart, Pisces. Uh, it could have been, again, a romantic interest. It could have been a relationship that didn't work out. It was a family member who may have ghosted, or there could have been, again, emotional loss. Whatever this was here for you, it was difficult for you to go through, but this new fresh start that you are embracing is going to be the, for the long Long haul. You have lasting commitment. What you're doing is you're committing to not only another person here, but committing to yourself. And you're telling yourself that you're growing and that you're evolving and that you are embracing and welcoming this change that is coming in with open arms. Let's take a look and clarify this Ten of Swords here for Pisces. What's this ending all about? Okay, we have the Death card. So I feel like this is about you shedding your old skin and embracing a new version of you. For example, if some of you were very codependent, uh, perhaps you let the emotions, the habits, the patterns, or the feelings of other people really affect you. I feel like this has been coming up more and more. I feel like you're staying within your own lane here, Pisces, and you're doing what you need to do to grow and blossom with or without someone but you're letting go of the old. You're shedding the skin. When this death energy shows up, I feel like this is a transform transformative time, a very, very spiritual transformative time in your life. This is about you not resisting uh, the change that is happening here for you. It is about you being able to fully come out from the ashes here, like the phoenix. And I feel like you are flying. You're coming out on top. Some of you could have been a very difficult or painful relationship as well. You can see in this death energy that the wings here 
they're scorched, uh, but they look very in love. They look very happy, but there is a very, maybe a dark or omniscient energy here where there was some old patterns or old beliefs or old uh, resentments, bitterness, anger that needs to kind of clear the air to make way for this new beginning that's coming in here for you. So let's take a look in, at what's coming in in the near future regarding love. We do have lasting commitment. We have the Emperor, Aries energy, Pisces, beautiful. This Emperor, this is about leadership. It could be a strong, powerful, masculine in your life, whether this is a paternal energy, it could be the father of your children, it could be your own father, it could be someone who is like a boss, someone who really steps into their energy. This could be you taking charge of your own destiny, being that leader that you are, being very powerful, bringing that order, stability, and structure to your life. The emperor is all four kings wrapped up in one. And I feel that what you're doing here is you, you have double kings showing up right away. So you're embracing all of the qualities that each king brings to the table. The heart, the logic, uh, you know, the, the earth, air, fire, water here. It's that spiritual side, that emotional side, the mental and logical of that king of swords as well. But also the physical, the financial, the positive health. Uh, energy. So I love this showing up for you. Let's clarify what this is all about. Some of you are healing from father issues or father abandonment or father loss. Uh, there's something here with paternal energy coming in. It could even be that you are healing uh, from a relationship that again, maybe it was your own uh, father, uh, your own children, if you do have children, their father as well, even if you're with them or not at this time. Let's take a look and clarify the emperor for Pisces. Ace of Wands. There it is. New beginnings, new energy, fresh start. Ace of Wands is one of my favorite uh, aces here. They're all wonderful, but aces definitely represent fresh start, chasing your dreams, a lot of passion here. Whoever this, if this emperor is someone that you are manifesting, this emperor is long term, right? This emperor, he's not a page. He's already been the page. He's not a knight. He's already been the knight, right? This emperor is somebody who wants to go the distance with you, Pisces, if you are looking to attract love. For those of you that are in a relationship, I feel like you may be, um, you may be entering a new cycle, a new phase with a person that you are with here that's allowing you to have a fresh start, release the old and step into this new type of energy, a new skin here. I love this for you. Let's take a look and see what you're telling yourself. What are you feeling? What are you thinking? How are you doing? This is all about you. Knight of Swords, you're ready to take action. You're ready for this new beginning. Knight of Swords can be a little bit impulsive at times, Pisces, but I feel like that's okay because typically you may be a planner. Typically you're not impulsive. So the fact that this is coming up means that this is something that's very important to you. It's important to your beliefs. It's important to your healing. It's important to your values and your integrity. And it's something you must do, whatever this is for you, whether it is saying, uh, you know, yes, to someone who you've always said no to because of fear or because of whatever reason. This could be about you saying yes to finally opening your heart up to love. It's going to be different for each and every one of you, but the underlying energy here is going to remain the same of you being uh, precise in what it is that you want and you going for it. I like this Knight of Swords here. Uh, I feel like you are very confident. You are chasing your dreams here and that's what you're doing with that Ace of Swords. You are becoming your own hero in a sense and I feel like you're doing what it takes to create this fresh start and to make it last. Now if you are healing or mending a relationship with a sister, a brother, a father, a mother, a sibling, a child, whatever this is here for you, I feel like you are taking that next step. All right, let's see what is going on in your external environment. What's going on in the world around you? What's going on? We have the Page of Wands. Now, there could be someone younger. It could be a son for some of you or even a daughter that you're healing with this Page energy. Or it could just be 
healing or uh, embracing some new energies coming into the mix. It could be the beginning of a new relationship with this page of wands, which is the page of inspiration in this deck. And I really like this. It's someone with purple hair, with red hair, and you can see the creative cloud of colors above. Um, now, some of you may be also into the maybe the same sex, or it could be that you're healing or uh, dealing with someone of the same sex. It doesn't have to be the case, uh, but I am sensing here that there's an energy of newness, of enthusiasm, of excitement. And the page of inspiration showing up for you is all about you staying curious and staying open. And I feel like this is about you chasing your passion. You're eager, you're enthusiastic for this fresh new start. You're ready to chase it full heartedly, but you're also open to the changes. You're also embracing the creative side of it as well. There could be a new creative twist coming in. Some of you may be changing the way that you look. Uh, something with your appearance, whether you are getting a haircut or you're coloring your hair, or if you're a male energy, you may be growing out facial hair or uh, cutting it off. Uh, there could be something with maybe new clothes, new travel, or uh, wearing bright, bold, colorful things here this month. So very positive energy I get from this page of inspiration. Let's take a look and pull a card and clarify the page. I feel for some of you, it certainly could be a daughter. It could be an adult daughter, even a teenage daughter for some of you, because typically pages... They can be uh, male, but in this deck, this page is female. So some of you may be spending more time with maybe a daughter or someone younger than you, a younger female, uh, but take it as it resonates. It doesn't just have to be female. Uh, it could be that you're learning from people that are younger from you as well, but you're embracing that. You're open to that change. So I like this. Let's take a look and clarify the, the page of inspiration, please. Page of inspiration. Uh, there it is. Everything I just said, uh, Spirit saying right on point, Mel, right on point. Page of Wands showing up here. So Page of Wands is clarified by the Page of Wands. And you can see that in this deck, it is male. So some of you have, uh, could be a younger female or male that you are uh, celebrating, embracing. Someone could be becoming an empty nester, I just heard as well. Uh, there could be some sort of engagement, marriage, news of a baby, news of uh, a move or a change when it comes to someone younger uh, that you're fully embracing. I love this. There's a fresh start here between you and someone that's close to your heart. Let's take a look and see what your hopes and fears are. What are your hopes and fears, Pisces? I feel like you definitely want to open your heart up to this new love. Yeah, you want communication, I just heard. Uh, some of you, you have the communication coming in. Uh, I feel that with this new energy. And you also have the page of uh, page of inspiration showing up. But now you have the eight of wands. There's a lot of wands in their energy. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Uh, fire sign can certainly be... Uh, Aries energy, which you see showing up with the Emperor here. It can be also Leo and it can be, uh, or excuse me, I'm getting all mixed up here. It can be Sagittarius energy and it, yes, it can be Leo as well. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, uh, but the eight of inspiration is all about communication. If you felt delayed in any sense, or if you felt like some someone wasn't talking to you, or you felt like uh, maybe between a parent and a child, whether adult children, teenage children, even younger children, if you felt cut off, like you weren't able to fully access their heart here, I feel like there will be communication this month. Uh, if this is a lover and you've been having some ups and downs, I feel like there's a fresh start coming to this energy. Uh, and if you've been looking to put yourself out there to date, there's movement. Eight of Wands is about travel. It's about relocating. It's about messages as well. So I feel like your hopes are that there is communication between you and another person that maybe had, again, been cut off. And the fear here is what if there's a delay? What if I get stuck in this 10 of swords energy? What if whatever ending this is, I just sit in it? I mean, this 10 of swords, uh, it is. it can be about that empty nest type of energy where maybe you have... Um, you have a child that is leaving and it's bittersweet in a sense because never again will you ever have, I mean, some people certainly have their children come back in, but never again will you have that same type of energy uh, in your home that you did for 18 years. Um, so I'm feeling here that some of you, it's, it's that kind of energy where it's bittersweet. 
There could have been a move where you may be leaving a location uh, and it's bittersweet because maybe you loved it there and you've made a lot of beautiful memories, but you know that there's a fresh start coming in that you're excited about, a new chapter of your life coming in. So let's take a look and clarify your hopes and fears with this Eight of Wands. Spirit, what do we have? What's this communication? What are you hoping for? Yeah, you're hoping that someone can see something from a new point of view because you're able to. You're able to see something for what it either was or you're able to be open-minded and you're hoping that someone else can meet you in the middle negotiations coming together type of energy is what i feel for you let's take a look at your final outcome in matters of the heart what's the final outcome all right um i just heard buckle up buckle up so if someone doesn't wear seat belts or someone may have just reminded a loved one to buckle up or maybe you uh, just got into your vehicle and you were listening and uh, you just buckled up uh, there's something with a buckle maybe someone needs to fix a buckle or remind someone to buckle up please take that as it resonates all right let's take a look at the final outcome for pisces love 2022 october what do we have for a final outcome oh beautiful four of wands oh my gosh you have the two of wands you have uh the knight of wands you have the page of wands you have the eight of wands and now the four whatever you got going on there's a lot of passion there's a lot of that fiery energy some of you may be dealing with quite a few uh fire signs as well pisces and this is the halfway to marriage card it is 11 11 soulmate twin flame four of wands is the card of celebration there may be a celebration coming up here for you, an announcement. It's kind of what I was picking up on earlier. It could be now an, an announcement from a family member or a loved one. This could be you announcing uh, something that you're very excited about, whether it's a new relationship, whether it's celebrating uh, next level in a relationship uh, showing up here. But the Four of Wands eventually is going to lead to uh, that beautiful lasting commitment that you want here yes it's the halfway to marriage it's that happily uh happily energy it's also soul tribe connection here if you're looking to attract your soul tribe your friend group your community i feel like you're able to do so more easily in the month of october here because this four of wands uh this is about honoring other people on your path it is about communal achievement. It can be about a new home. Some of you are celebrating a new home as well. Uh, so I really love this showing up for you. And in this card specifically, there's four females. So some of you may be uh, getting together with four females to go on a trip, uh, or you may be in a wedding. I'm hearing uh, matrons of honor or even a maid of honor, bridesmaids here. Uh, so a lot of really positive energy coming in for you in the month of October in matters of the heart. Let's take a look and clarify this four of inspiration for you Pisces what's this four of inspiration all about yeah if you felt left out in the cold if you felt abandoned right if you felt like something wasn't available to you you're recognizing that what what uh, was closed off to you in the past was closed off for a reason. It was for this brand new beginning to come in and this beginning is going to lead to something far better than anything that had been closed off to you in the past could have ever given here. So the five of pentacles, I feel like you will not be left out in the cold. There is success. There's love. There is happy moments. There's good memories coming in here for you. So I like this. Last but not least, Pisces, let's get a message from the wisdom of the oracle. One of my favorites, Colette Baron reed And for those of you that are interested in any of the decks that you see used during your reading or any above, you can find all of that information in the description box below. And what do you have here? You have an egg that says peace. What do you have here in the present energy? An egg that has a fresh start. So I love this for you. It's also card 23. When you break down the two and the three, that equals five. Uh, fives can be about travel. It can be about overcoming obstacles that you have faced in the past. It can be about overcoming limiting beliefs that you've had as well. All right, card 23. This is about bringing more peace into your life. If things have felt unstable in matters of the heart, I feel like there's a coming together energy here for you, Pisces, that's going to feel like freedom. And it says here, freedom from attachment 
and radical acceptance. And the relationship message is this. When two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are as two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and it is to be savored. All right. I'm also going to read to you just the oracle message as well. And it says it doesn't get any better than this. A quiet mind, a heart fulfilled, freedom from want and the soul satisfaction. The way to peace is through radical acceptance. Everything in your world is exactly as it should be. Harmony is beautiful. Enjoy it. Yeah, this is one of those times here when you're just manifesting uh, beauty, you're manifesting love, you're manifesting healing, you're manifesting connection. So it's a very, very powerful month for you to feel at peace with where you are heading in matters of the heart. Some of you, they're showing me... Uh, you could be releasing doves as well or releasing some sort of birds, whether it's for, you know, a wedding or whether you see uh, a dove or you see uh, a white bird uh, flying in the air, whether it's a seagull or it could be any white bird here or even a white feather. Take note because that spirit's saying it's time for this fresh start. This is a fresh start coming in. It could also be some news if you've been waiting to hear from someone as well or if you've reached out first because I'm sensing that you are making that first move I feel like it the time is now so there's more peace coming in with this fresh start Pisces I hope this resonates if so please feel free to hit that thumbs up button it certainly does help the divine channel messages get out there to those that need it most feel free to like share comment subscribe and hit that notification bell and Pisces I'm sending you so much love and light thank you for tuning in